March this year was so incredibly busy in real estate, and that's a reflection of how our market performed in February and even January. It was a hit the ground running start to 2022. The whole entire first quarter was a spring market that I haven't yet seen. And we are so far just beginning technical spring season here in Middle Tennessee. So it's crazy to think that we have been dealing with a spring real estate market though for about three months. And what's been incredible is to see the enormous amount of price gains from February to February because February is the month where we have the most recent statistics. March's numbers aren't yet out. But when you look February to February, we had a dramatic increase in home sale prices here in Williamson County, across Tennessee, and really across the country. And the reason is when Zillow released its March report of numbers, they say that there are half the amount of homes on the market in February of 2022 than there were in February of 2021. So from year to year, there are half the amount of homes across the country for buyers to choose from. And at the same time, you know what that does to prices. But we're seeing a coupling here of not only home prices going up, but now interest rates. And that has been the big topic, especially last week and the week before, as we've crept into the solid 4% and now closer to the 5% mark. However, keep in mind, it's not slowing down a lot of our buyers. A lot of our buyers are still paying cash or they're able to. And a lot of buyers recognize still that being in the 4% is considerably lower than our seven plus percent historical average, according to Freddie Mac for a 30 year fixed mortgage. And that spans the past 50 years. So we're still below average interest rates, even as they continue to creep up. And it's something that really we're not seeing the combination of those two things providing much of a hiccup or a speed bump in our market so far. I think going into April now, we're going to see a story of some unexpected um, surprises. I think there are a lot of buyers though, because of the increased interest rates, you've got inflation as well, on top of increasing home prices that are really just pricing so many buyers out of our market. And because of that, we're going to start seeing a lot of these buyers just sit out on the sidelines, or we're seeing a lot of people who are speculating, oh, we're going to have a pop, this is the beginning of the crash. Here in Williamson County, I can't speak for across the country, but here in Williamson County and the grassland area of Williamson County, we're not expecting there to be a major speed bump with our home price valuations, with our equity gains. We will see a slowdown in the amount of equity and that's expected across the country, but we're not expecting a decrease in the values that we already have now, at least for the foreseeable future. Uh, I will say, I think this April we're going to see sideliners who are surprised when they see the rest of the people in the market sneaking in and win. And I think for those who are still in the market, there are going to be some really big wins. I mean, I've started to see a lot of people just jump in and win right now because there are fewer buyers to compete against on the market. Are there still more buyers than there are homes for sale? Yes. So sellers are still winning as well. Call me if you have any questions, text me, email me. You've got all my information, reach out via social media, and I'm happy to continue discussing the nuances of our market with you because it is ever-changing. And you can see more details about it in my most recent blog post posted with this video.